The term witness bears special significance when applied to the Word of God. In the Bible, we read this important declaration. In the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established. This assures God's children that divine doctrines are confirmed by more than one scriptural witness. The Bible and the Book of Mormon are both witnesses of Jesus Christ. They teach that He is the Son of God, that He lived an exemplary life, that He atoned for all mankind, that He died upon the cross and rose again as the resurrected Lord. They teach that He is the Savior of the world. Scriptural witnesses authenticate each other. This concept was explained long ago when a prophet wrote that the Book of Mormon was written for the intent that you may believe the Bible. And if you believe the Bible, you will believe the Book of Mormon also. Each book refers to the other. Each book stands as evidence that God lives and speaks to His children by revelation to His prophets. Love for the Book of Mormon expands one's love for the Bible and vice versa. Scriptures of the Restoration do not compete with the Bible, they complement the Bible. We are indebted to martyrs who gave their lives so that we could have the Bible. It establishes the everlasting nature of the Gospel and of the plan of happiness. The Book of Mormon restores and underscores biblical doctrines such as tithing, the temple, the Sabbath day, and the priesthood. A prophecy in the Book of Mormon warned that some people would object to the notion of additional scriptures. <clears throat> to those who think they need no more Bible, consider this God-given counsel. Know ye not that there are more nations than one? Know ye not that I, the Lord your God, created all men, and that I rule in the heaven above and in the earth beneath? And I bring forth my word unto the children of men, yea, even upon all nations of the earth? Know ye not that the testimony of two nations is a witness unto you, that I am God, that I remember one nation like unto another? Wherefore I speak the same words unto one nation like unto another. And the testimony of the two nations shall run together also.